There is no love lost between former ESPN colleagues Stephen A. Smith oh and Jason gosh. Whitlock. So Smith dropped his new memoir, Straight Shooter, this week, and Whitlock took issue with some of the stories Stephen A. shared about his life, including how Stephen A. was able to get a scholarship to Winston-Salem State. Here's a clip of Stephen A. telling that story. Winston-Salem State came calling because a former player there was a family friend of mine and he drove me down for a tryout and it was the greatest shooting performance I ever had in my life because I've never done it since and I never did it before that but that particular day that tryout I went down to Winston-Salem and I just passed the ball around when Coach Gaines put me on the court and Coach Gaines blew the whistle and he called me over because he's 6'6", six, 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 280 and he was older and he wasn't about to get up. So he, he blew the whistle and said, come over here. He said, ain't you supposed to be a shooter? I said, yes. He said, well, God damn it, shoot the ball. And I said, all right. And I went out there and I hit 17 straight three-pointers. I've never done that in my life before or after. But that day... I hit 17 three-pointers straight, and he signed me to a scholarship on the spot. So I misspoke. The memoir Straight Shooter came out last year. Whitlock just very slow to respond is what it is. Uh, <laughs> so Whitlock called Cap on the story, uh, referring to him as Stephen A. Myth, and also said Smith was an industry plant amongst other, other high-grade slander. Oh, wow. But on Wednesday, Stephen A. went off on Whitlock on his show, and here are some of the highlights. You betrayed me. Did you tell the folks that? You bitch. <laughs> Did you tell them? You fat piece of shit. Did you tell them that? And please do not allow this to be a reflection on my character because this is not how I act every day. But I mean it from my soul when I say this is the worst human being I've ever known. I don't know of another human being worse Ooh. than Jason Whitlock. Ooh, that hurt. He is a piece of shit. <laughs> He's the dude that's going to have a funeral <laughs> and ain't going to be no Paul Barris. Damn. Might be two people to show up. He's that dude. Ooh. He is the absolute worst. And he lies. And he incriminates. And he tries to set people up to fail to big up himself because he can't do it on his own. He had a television show. He failed. He's had opportunities one time after another. He doesn't measure up. And now he's coming at the big dog. And let me tell you something right now. I am the big dog. I ain't the only one. <laughs> I ain't the only one. There's plenty. Skip Bayless, apologies to him too for bringing up Jason Whitlock's name in the same sentence as him. But we all know what time it is. Everyone knows. All the executives at all the networks, they know what a piece of shit he is. And they begged me not to do this. But even my pastor, A.R. Bernard, said, I'm not happy about it. But every now and then, we got to do what we got to do. <laughs> I can imagine Stephen A. calling his pastor like, look, I ain't happy, but go ahead and cook that nigga. Hey, uh, hey, hey, cook. I, I, hey that's, that, 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 that hurt. Oh, for sure. Oh, that hurt. Oh, I'm right. ooh, you the worst. You the worst human being. Ooh. Nobody gonna <laughs> carry you out. Ooh. Carry you out on the on your, at their funeral. No, because yeah. if you know you you a fucked up person, he say that you be like you start looking around like yeah, I don't know too many people that actually like me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, damn. No. Yeah. I mean, I personally am not a Jason Whitlock fan. He be talking crazy about women's sports, so. Okay. I haven't messed with him in a while. No. Yeah. I don't know him. First time I heard of him. Okay. You know, you know, I don't, I don't, I personally don't know him, but I know sometimes when the motherfucker fed up, sometimes you gotta lay out the goddamn. Oh, so gun. you've never like the big guns. We've never like heard things that he said nah. and spoke about. It, okay, it, he's he like the says some inflammatory no, thing. I, yeah, I mean, I, I hear him. I just be thinking no, it's just entertainment, but I've never paid <laughs> attention to him. But I mean, I should know. I should know he ain't really worth the shit because of, you know. He, uh, he supports one of my enemies. Oh. Uh, right? And I'm like, y'all friends? Then I know y'all on some bullshit. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> he does support one of your enemies. And he was in the chat the other day. And I know you on some bullshit now. Yeah. Whitlock or, you, or the Whitlock. person? Was in our chat? No. In, oh. in Mike Seaman's chat. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, I'm like, like damn, this is the, you, you know, you in the pits, nigga? This is the pits. That's how I be, though. <laughs> this is the pits. You down here? You call but some, someone your enemy. That's how I be, though. But sometimes, because I shouldn't have any, right? I shouldn't have any. But My enemy. Yeah, just, but just, just the fact that someone, someone so professional as Stephen A., right, had to do this, means that means that shit's been building in oh, for yeah. a long time. Yeah. And the fact that no one's came to the defense of all the people he named is an ouchie. Well, he believe this person don't like you, this person don't like you, this person don't like you, this person. They were there putting heart comments by ding, 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 yeah. ding. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Hey, someone sent money too. $400. <laughs> Keep going, champ. <laughs> $400. Is that Rachel Nichols right there? <laughs> Cat Williams. Cat Williams has inspired the media to start clapping back. Cat Williams and Stephen A. got it cracking. Yeah. Did Stephen A. go too far, though, with the comments? You said he's professional. No. Uh, calling him a, a bitch. No, no, he didn't call him a bitch. He, you bitch. <laughs> you bitch. Not just the regular That's exactly one. exactly what he deserves. <laughs> oh, for real? Yes. Oh, yeah. he's, he's horrible. Like... The things that he says, the stances that he takes, he's like, he's just very hateful. Like, oh, he's one of those. Yeah, it's like nothing comes from any logic, analytics, nothing. It's like just pure, like, hate and, like, just mean. Like, he's a mean little fat man. Like, so, last. <laughs> Like, oh. He must be that bad. Yes. <laughs> look at yeah. yeah, We got Lexi Gordon. Go, we got Lexi Turked Up. Don't let me fight, man. We got oh, friendship yeah. bracelets and Lexi Turked Up. Don't let, hey, don't don't let us fight. Like I told you he'd be talking crazy. Like, I think one day they put um, some women's basketball thing on, like, the front page of ES. It was, like, mid-tournament. Yeah. And he was like, why is this on here? Like, no one wants to see this. Who they keep? They, he calls people who support women's sports, like, woke. Like, <laughs> not just sports fans. Just not, not sports, sports fans. fans. So, last question I have for you guys. <laughs> so, I didn't watch the whole Stephen A. video, but basically, we're like a call capital. A bunch of things Stephen A. Smith said. He, I think he confirmed some of those things. They said there's people you can speak to to confirm those things. But you guys are all hoopers. Uh, you'll be participating in the first annual Gills Arena shootout presented by Underdog Fantasy, where you will try to make 25 threes, five racks. Uh, do you believe Stephen A. Smith hit 17 straight threes? In his college trial. Was it a workout or was it a See, game? That, so as he explains it, and this is also, I think, what Whitlock kind of pointed out. Uh, so he went up there, I think, late February, early March on a Sunday. Uh, Clarence Big House Gaines, a legendary coach at Winston-Salem State, was holding a tryout. So he started the tryout, like he said, I was just doing, you know, passing the ball, doing whatever. Big House called him over and said, I thought you was a shooter. Shoot that thing. So I don't know if it was in a game. If you just let them line up and shoot, it's been kind of very unclear mm -hmm. how that's been presented. Probably but 17, because like who was counting? Like, oh, that's 12 in a row. That's 13 in a row. He hit 17. Well, how many did he miss after that? Like, you know, or did he just shut it down after 17 I mean, walked out? I feel out? like if he was just catching and shooting, that's very possible. He was a hand in his face. There's, I mean, he got a scholarship. I mean, I don't I mean, think he capping. No, 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 no. He got a scholarship. I think like, he purposely left out a lot of details. Just very vague. The, the, the one that's important. I made 17, 17 threes in a row. That's never it. did it before. Yep. Never, never, did, it. never did it after. Did it but I did it that day. Don't ask anybody about me. I did it right then and there, and it never happened again. You know, we in the black community, we'll put extras on things when we retell stories. I'm just, black you know. Community. But 17. <laughs> it could have been nine. It could have been 10. But it yeah. felt like it 17. It felt like 17. Whatever it was, he got the scholarship. <laughs> got the scholarship. He wrote, he's, he's handed it to him. Right? Uh, hey, hey, that. hey. I like what I see. Nigga, sorry. Right? I mean, all that matters. We've, we've all had out-of-body experiences, yeah. like all of us. Like, there's been things where we, we, we can go 20, 30, 50, 60 in a row just doing it. So, yeah, it, it is possible. So, let, let's, one more question. Uh, if Stephen A. Smith were to participate in the first annual Gills Arena shootout presented by Underdog Fantasy and was given 25 threes, we'll give him college because that's where he said he hit the 17 straight threes. College line, I think, is a little bit further now. How many? What's his higher or lower? 12. You think 12? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stephen A., she I mean, called you out. Pull up. She's a shooter. I mean, he's a shooter. I was going, going over like last time he shot. I mean, you said high school? No, three? College. Or college three? College. Seven. 
Wait, it, I mean, seven out of twenty-five. Seven. Wait, wait, wait. Back when he was in college, hasn't the line moved back? Yes, yeah, moved back. That's what I said. Yeah, I, I was going to say seven. old college. I say give him the high school. You give him the high school. Two. I give him two makes. I say seven. Two makes a spot. Seven. Does he get a warm up? Yo, is it, are you gonna yeah, pull up he's subject that's to the same right rules as every other participant in the first that's annual Gilsey right Shootout presented by Underdog. Who makes the spot? So, 10. I said 12. Okay, 10. And 10? Higher or lower, 10. Stephen A. Smith. Pull up. Respond. Pull up. I mean, January 20th, 2020. Some of them out there. <laughs> Facts. Because right, I saw someone go two for 25. <laughs> I've seen someone make nothing. <laughs>